In 2019, during the Trump administration, there was an active effort to try to prevent and cut down on human trafficking and human smuggling. That was one of the priorities of the Trump administration. But one of the ways in which that was done was by instituting DNA testing for those who, who came into the country. Um, because we had this issue, and we still have the issue, where because our immigration system favors families and treats them better and tries to keep them together and doesn't just deport them immediately, uh, there became something of a, a monetary incentive to bring a child with you and to claim that the child was yours even when the child wasn't. And so children were rented, bought, sold, treated as commodities, uh, abused in various different horrific ways, all as a product of this, of this policy of let's keep the let's keep the family together. It's like, well, is this really a family? So the Trump administration wanted to fix this, and they instituted this DNA testing, and they found out that in a lot of cases, actually, you know, the child was not with the family; they were with the abusers, right? Because it's I mean, the entire environment is abusive. Um, so. Now, the Biden administration has decided to reverse that policy. In other words, they're going to end the DNA testing that was put in place specifically to make it harder to engage in human trafficking with these children. It's really difficult to kind of figure out where they're coming from here. Like, what's the justification in eliminating this, this safeguard? I don't think there really is one, but in a letter to Acting Commissioner of the Customs and Border Patrol, lawmakers with the Committee on Oversight and Accountability wrote, and I quote, A DHS Inspector General report found that 1 in 10 children who underwent DNA testing were not related to the adults claiming to be relatives. Other reports have found that as many as 3 in 10 children share no familial relation whatsoever to the adults claiming them, unquote. Okay. So between 10% and 30% of the children who are being brought in across the southern border are not actually being brought in by their family members. They're, they are victims. And so then it's especially gross to then house them with the, the perpetrators, right? with the, their abusers. Because that was one of the big fights during the Trump administration was, well, you're breaking up families, and it's all, well, maybe they're not actually families, and it's looking like in as many as 30% of the cases, they actually weren't families. And so this was designed to protect children. Now, there's those children who were brought in, rented, and so on, they often ended up in child pornography and in prostitution rings, and this is, these are some of the evils of uh, human trafficking. But the Biden administration is removing the deterrent because the deterrent is well, if you if you purchase a child for this, you know, immigration thing, well, we'll just kind of remove the benefit that you were hoping to acquire, right? As in the the superior protections as an immigrant who belongs to a family, we'll just remove that, and therefore you won't perhaps keep renting children. There won't be a a market for children. And I hate to use these terms, but they're the most accurate, right? And they, I think they reflect the way that these children are abused. You can kind of see the, the I don't know, the assaults on human dignity, because it is. It is inherently an assault on human b dignity to, to buy and sell them as commodities and just kind of throw them around going back and forth across the border, even if there wasn't any other abuse taking place, which there usually is, unfortunately, and of which we're well aware of. And so when you look at the amount of money that we're you know, throwing around the world, in places like Ukraine, of course, spring to mind. But really, I mean, just about everywhere, we send money to like Pakistan and stuff like that. So the, the only argument in favor of eliminating these DNA tests is simply monetary. And yet, you look at the reckless ways in which the United States government uh, uses funds, and this does not seem even close to that. This isn't about saving money, it's about no longer you know, sticking up for these children who so desperately need representation because they're separated from any sort of guardian whatsoever in these situations and are just sort of left and abandoned in a really dark way. What's going on here is this is this is evil. You know, this is seeing that there was a policy implemented that actually figured out 
which kids were actually being victims of non-families and then saying, okay, we don't care anymore. That's effectively what the message is. It's, it's absolutely wrong. If you enjoyed that video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also share it with your friends. I've got links in the description down below that can help you to support me in different ways. Thank you.